It's now time for Help from a High with Bishop Daniel Holloway Sr., a Redemptive Life Worship Center located at 2265 Highway 54 in Marlin, Georgia, anointed and appointed by God. Now, here is your host of Help from a High, Bishop Daniel Holloway Sr. Good morning. This is Bishop Daniel Holloway of the Redemptive Life Church. Redemptive Life Church in 2265 Highway 54, and that is in Moreland, Georgia, 30259. And this morning, I showed a help from on high. We're going to be talking about a scripture that that is found in Second King five one through fourteen, five chapter five verses one through fourteen. I wait till you get there. Second King chapter five verses one through fourteen. Uh, Second King. Talking about a young man uh, by the name of Naaman. The, the Bible said that Naaman was a mighty man of Valar. He was a mighty man of Valar. And other words, Seemed as though he had the favor of God on his life. And I read to your hearing. Now Naaman was a commander of the army of the king of Aram. He was a great man in the sight of his master and highly regarded. Because through him, the Lord had given victory to Aram. He was a valiant soldier, but he had leprosy. Now, a band of raiders from Aram had gone out and had taken captive a young girl from Israel, and she served Naaman's wife. She said to her mistress, if only my master would see the prophet, who is in Samaria, he would cure him of his leprosy. Naaman went to his master and told him what the girl from Israel had said. By all means, go. The king of Aram replied, "I I will send a letter to the king of Israel. So Naaman left taking with him 10 talents of silver, 6,000 shekels of gold, and 10 sets of clothing. The letter that he took to the king of Israel read, with this letter I am sending my servant Naaman to you so that you may cure him of his leprosy. And as soon as the king of Israel read the letter, He tore his clothes and said, Am I God? Can I kill and bring back to life? Why does this fellow send someone to me to be cured of his leprosy? See how he is trying to pick a quarrel with me. When Elisha, the man of God, heard that the king of Israel had torn his robe. He sent him this message. Why have you torn your robe? Have the man come to me, and he will know that there is a prophet in Israel. So Naaman went with his horses and chariot and stopped at the door of Elisha's house. Elisha sent a messenger to to say to him, go wash yourself. 
seven times in Jordan, and you will, and your flesh will be restored, and you will be cleansed. But Naaman went away angry and said, I thought that he would surely come out to me and stand and call on the name of the Lord. And the last verse, in the name of the Lord his God, wave his hand over the spot and cure me of leprosy. Are not a banner and papa, papa, the river of Damascus better than all the water of Israel? Could I wash in them and be clean? So he turned and went off in a rage. That 12th verse, Are not a banner and far, far river of Damascus better than all the water of the river? May I not wash in them and be clean? So he turned and went away in a rage. Second King 5 and 12. The Bible states that Naaman was a successful man. He had a lot going for himself. But he had a big burden in his life. He was a leper. He was a commander of the army. A great and honorable man. By him the Lord gave victory in the professional battle. Verse 4 of this fifth chapter states that Naaman wanted to find a way to get rid of his problem of this problem. He had more than likely down through the year tried many a possible cure which people told him about but all failed him and nothing had worked. But Naaman was not just interested in getting rid of a minor irritation. He was destined to become free of the problem which consumed him day and night. Let us know the method that Naaman decided to use to receive his healing. He used the method of gold, silver, expensive garments, and the king of Syria said, go. Go to, go. And I'll send a letter to the king of Israel. And he departed and took 10 talents of silver and 6,000 pieces of gold and 10 chains of raiment. Second King 5 and 5. He felt that God, prophet, would be impressed by, by all of his gold Silver and riches. He carried with him a profit of four million dollars in wealth and stuff. Some may think, well, if if he had that much money, why did he care if he had leprosy or not? How many know that money can't buy everything? No matter how much money you have. You cannot enjoy true happiness if you're sick. Matter of fact, Naaman would have given anything to be free of this disease. It is, and it is very important to know that the purpose of a healing experience is to bring glory and honor to God. God has provided a way for you, to, and you and me to be healed from our problem and burden. We should understand that healing that take place is not from for our benefit only, but primary for God to be glorified, that his grace and mercy will be spread, spread to those who have not known of him, have not known him. Fact about, fact about it in the, in the ninth chapter, chapter of St. John, the third verse states that Jesus healed a man, healed a blind man from birth. The reason of his healing was this, that the work of God should be revealed in him. 
2 John 9, verse 3. God provided a way to be healed of his problem, but the ultimate reason God was willing to heal him was not just because for Naaman's sake. It was for the sake and the purpose of bringing glory to himself and his word of, of his grace. It was placed on display, the mercy which would be granted to a gentle nation and would believe on him. Next, we see a common problem. Naaman wanted his problem, problem take, taken care of and removed, but he wanted it to be done his way. By the time Naaman got permission to go and see the prophet, he had, he had things all figured out in his own mind how he should be healed. He had decided the how, where, and the place of healing. Ain't that, isn't that something? Let us consider Naaman's way of being healed. Naaman wanted Elisha to come to the door and stand and call on the name of the Lord. Then strike his hand over the place and then the healing would take place. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? The way he wanted it. How, when, and where. But Naaman was wroth. And he went away and said, Behold, I thought he would surely come out and stand and call on the name of the Lord God, then strike his hand over the place and recover the leprosy. Second King 5.11. When the prophet Elijah told him to go, go to war seven times, the Jordan, the river Jordan, Naaman felt that he was not, that was not the best place for him, for his healing to take place. He preferred that the healing should take place in a better river of Jordan. He wanted it to be at a banner, the far part, River Damascus, better than all the water from Israel. May I not wash in them and be clean? So he turned and went away in a rage. Second King 5 and 12. When, uh, when things did not go the way that Naaman preferred, he, he, coped, he copied an attitude. And he started to walk away from healing. He started to walk away from healing. The problem that Naaman had with God's way was it required him to give up control of the situation. And something like, you know, we just don't want to give up the control of the situation and put a complete faith in God. Now let us consider God's manner of healing Naaman. God's way required Naaman number one. Get down off of his high horse. Even in the presence of his subordinate. And then bow down in a dirty Jordan River. In front of his soldier, his servant, and all the other who were present. I'm sure Naaman was concerned about his self-image. Which was based upon pride. Naaman or any of us who wanted to be healed of our problem, we must humble ourselves before God. Humble ourselves and have it done according to God's way, not people's way, not church culture way, but God's way, what God says through his word. That was a determining factor here. In Naaman changing his pride for mine and coming back to Jordan where he would be healed. There was a determining factor without which Naaman would have lived the rest of his life and eventually died leper. The determining factor was his listening to the voice of reason. Listening to the voice of reason. The voice of reason come from the server, Elijah. Elisha. That's where the voice of reason was coming from. 
The servant told him to trust God way. We have to trust God way to be the best way for him to be healed of leprosy. Naaman did as he was told by the man of God and dipped himself seven times in Jordan. He was healed according to the saying of the prophet. God's way is always the best way. But if we want things to be completed with godly result, it must be also done in a godly manner. Godly way, God result. Whether we are Christian or non-Christian, whether we are saints or sinners, there will be, there will be problems which will weigh very heavily upon our lives. But we come to tell you that these problems don't have to remain in our lives. Every person at any given time will have something they can point to as a sincere problem. Uh, a troublesome burden. Well, we have to come to inform you. We have come to inform you that the problem don't have to remain in our lives. God has provided a way to remove all of our burden and then me and our brokenness. First Peter Five and seven. Peter said, casting all my cares upon him, for he cares for you. When God blesses us, it must be done the way he desired to be done. God deliverance us operate through faith in God and not our own action. God's way requires faith which is a humble and willing to give up control. Thank you, Jesus. Giving up control of ourselves. Giving up control the way we think. Giving up control the way we act. We act as we can command God to do this and command God to do that. But I come to tell you, it's all in your mind. That's all your problem. That's not God's problem. God only heals his way. God's way consists of faith, which is patient, and that's what a lot of us don't have. Patient and is willing to wait on God. Wait on him. Wait on him. Godly way, godly result. Thank you, Jesus. We must have faith in the wisdom and the ability of God. Mm -hmm. The latter part of Hebrew 11 and 6 said we must believe that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. There is necessity to believe that he's able to reward our faith. We must believe that God can do anything but fail. Sometimes we have to predetermine, we have predetermined ideas of the now, of the ideas of the how, where and when our problem should be solved. But we must remember, if we want God resolved, we must be willing to go God's way. Also, sometimes we need to hear our voice of reason. Thank you, Jesus, to remind us that God's way is the only way. If we really want to be made whole again, and when God's way does the healing, his restoration is far greater than our mind could ever imagine. Isaiah 65 and 24. He uh, encouraged us that. It shall come to pass that before they call, when I will answer, 
I will answer while they're yet praying. And I will do it before they finish praying. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Yes. Yes. Speaking, I will hear. Mm -hmm. God knows what we need to gain victory over our enemy. God knows what we need if we're going to walk through this life. God knows our ups and downs. God knows our thoughts are far off. Let us trust God way for a guaranteed victory. Uh-huh. Let us trust God way for guaranteed victory. The word says that eyes of the Lord upon the righteous and his ears are open unto his cry. To their cry, Psalm 34, 15. I'm going to say it again. The eyes of the Lord upon the righteous and his ears is open unto their cry. Psalm 34, 15. Let us turn our situation and problem over to the shepherd of our soul, the bishop of our salvation. Thank you, Jesus. He had promised to lead and then guide us and declare. Then we can declare the goodness and the mercy shall follow us not a few days, but all the days of my life. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Yea, though I walk through the valleys of the shadows of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod, thy staff, thy cup of me. I prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemy. Thou anointed my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thank you, Jesus, and I'm going to pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, God way, uh-huh, God way of doing business. A uh, God way, thank you, Jesus. And a godly result. Oh, my hiding, my hiding place, oh, thou city of refuge. Hide me while the storm is raging. Uh huh. While the billow roll, while I'm tossed and driven, contrary wind. Protect us, Lord, with your word. Let your blood prevail. The hand of God lead me. The hand of God encircle my gloom. Oh, my hiding place, my secret, my peace, we may, we hide in thee, thou art our covering. We take refuge in, in, in thee. Bind the enemy of the stormy sea, the anger sea, the angry sea, the destructive sea. Bind the torment and tempest speak. Thy peace O hand of God, thy strong hand of deliverance, make whole the power of your coming with the glory of your name. Jesus, 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 thou art my hope and uh, thou art my strength and my deliverer. We give you the blessed God, the Jesus Christ. Uh, we thank you, Jesus, all day. We praise your name right now for thou art worthy. Though the worthy one, thou art the good one, thou art, uh, thou art the kind and loving Jesus. Praise your name now. Thank you now, Lord. Uh, welcome thy presence. We welcome your presence. We expect your coming. Thou art God of power, grace, and mercy. Be back to imposing power, Lord. Uh, we lean on thee. Um, uh -huh. Let the sunlight of your coming, Lord, uh, delight in Jesus' name. We hold your name. We hold you in great esteem. Uh, there is none in heaven on earth like unto you, 
oh God, uh, bind up his perplexity, Lord, uh, the anxiety, Lord, uh, of our soul. Let the river of peace overflow our soul. With your presence and your coming, we have peace. That pass all understanding. We thank you, Lord, for your peace and goodwill. Oh, we live in the perilous time. Danger, destruction is in everywhere. It is the Lord day, the day of thick darkness. Uh huh. But you have position. You have promised the overcoming power. In thee we are more than conquerors. We thank you for your promise. We accept you and receive your faith. God, our heavenly Father, we worship thee in the spirit and the truth. Uh-huh. We seek thee. Thou art the word of God. Yes, you are right now. You the word of God. Yes, you are right now. Enter our heart and our understanding that we might find thee and the fervency. We knock at the door for you are at the door that no man can shut. Um, you are the door of the sheepfold. Yes, you are. We ask for your miracle for healing, Lord. We re rebuke infirmity right now. All manifest sickness right now. Save everywhere. Let your name Jesus. Make whole and save with your blood. Save with your word. In our soul we cry, we yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, all. Um, you have commanded that we love our enemy. Bless those that curse them. Uh, bless those that curse them. Uh, do good to those and then pray for those that despise and use you. Let us remember these commands. Jesus, oh, I'll help, uh, help me now in the time of sadness. Help me now in the time of gladness. Hell, you are the glad maker in time of loneliness. You are the great comforter. You are all that we need. And uh, we thank you very much. Uh, and we thank you so much. Uh, go to, we, you cause her to go to the hospital, the jailhouse, the big house, the little house, the white house, the city, town, and villages, and even in Hamlet. We need a visit from you. We need a coming from you, the nation, other earth, the kings or the potentate, the mighty men, the ordinary men, and all mankind have need of thee, O Lord. Have need of thee, O Lord. We need thee every hour. Hear our cry. While on the other side thou art passing by, please, Lord, please, Lord, stop by here. In the name of Jesus Christ, you have been listening to the Bishop Daniel Hardaway, Help from on High, 2265 Highway 54 in the city of Moreland, Georgia. With that being said, I'll see you next time for our Help from on High program. God bless you. You have been listening to Help From a High with Bishop Daniel Holloway Sr. of Redemptive Life Worship Center located at 2265 Highway 54 in Marlin, Georgia. Our service is Sunday 10 a.m. till 12.30 p.m. Our phone number 770-502-0660 and you can help with our ministry by giving online at our cash app dollar sign Daniel Holloway Sr. Until next Sunday at this same time. God bless you and your family.